All right, we're going to graph some inequalities in this video. Um, just let me down on the bottom make a couple side notes. If you have a less than, I'm sorry, greater than, or a less than, that's going to be an open circle. If you have a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to, that's going to be a closed circle. Those kind of look like faces, huh? All right, so first one we're going to graph, x is less than 9. What we're going to do is we are going to give ourselves a number line. We're going to put 9 in the middle, and then I'm just looking for a number on each side of 9. So 8 is on the left, 10 is on the right. Now we have to determine, should we have an open closed circle at 9? Well, it's a less than, so that's going to be an open circle, which means our solution does not include the 9. And then we want to shade, it says x is less than 9, so you want to shade all the numbers that are smaller than 9. Well, on a number line, all the numbers smaller than 9 are heading over here to the left. So that's a graph of x is less than 9. All right, moving on, we have m is greater than or equal to negative 1. So first, we'll go ahead and set up our number line, putting negative 1 in the middle, and then the numbers on each side. On the right side will be a 0, on the left side will be a negative 2. And then it's a greater than or equal to, and it has that or equal to bar right there. We're going to have a closed circle, which means that m can equal the negative 1 as well. Um, and then it's greater than or equal to, so you want to shade the side that has all the values greater than negative 1. Well, the numbers bigger than negative 1 are over here on the right side. So we'll shade everything to the right. All right, last one. D is greater than negative 3. So again, we'll go ahead and draw our number line. You've got negative 3 in the middle, negative 2 on the right, negative 4 on the left. Next, we determine, should it be an open or closed circle? Well, it's a greater than, which tells us open circle. Um, you, the only time you fill in your circles, it has that or equal to bar. And then d is greater than negative 3, so you want to shade all the values that are bigger than negative 3, which will be to the right. So basically what we're saying with this inequality is that what is d equal? Well, d could be any of these values over here that are bigger than a negative 3. D could be a negative 2, could be a negative 1, could be a 0, could be a 1, 2, 3, and so on. And because D could be all of those values, we just shade them all. Um, there's not exactly one value for D.